So this all begins with Goku Black robbing Trunks of his hood and then terrorizing his timeline. So Trunks was like, oh hell no, nah, I'm not about to get my ass beat. So he put up on Goku and Vegeta and brought him back to his timeline. When they arrive, the soldiers immediately up the blicks on Goku. Obviously Trunks wasn't going to let that slide so he had to intervene. But why did they think this was the best choice of words? Hold your fire! This man isn't black! Yo, bro, who looked at that script, saw that line, and was like, oh yeah, this is the one. That's when Vegeta shot a light in the sky, pretty much telling Goku Black to come spin the block. That boy wasted no time. He seen the ops on his block and couldn't let that slide. And look at his entrance, bro. This gotta be one of the cleanest entrances I ever seen in the show. And that's when Vegeta went Super Saiyan Blue and was like, fuck all this talking and let's box. And look at Goku Black's face. Bitch, please. He teleports to Vegeta while on Super Saiyan Blue and touches his chin like he's trying to spit game or something. Vegeta was like, I know you didn't try to treat me like no hoe. Dashed in and punched him through two walls. And that's when he came in and started hitting that nigga with a devious 30 piece combo with no bev. Bro was out here looking like. Yo, he dashed in and threw a spinning bird kick. Teleport with a knee to the back and then back into him into a wall. But wait, he's not finished. Started giving that nigga straight hands. But look at Goku Black mid ass beating. <laughs> That is a face of a true menace. That's the face of a nigga who put milk before the cereal. And that's the face of a nigga who wears slides with no socks. Vegeta was like, oh nah, jump back. That's when Goku Black walked out and had to wipe the dust off his drip real quick. This is designer. You bitch ass nigga. Kick Vegeta right back to where he started. That Super Saiyan Blue is cute and all. But let me show you what a real nigga can do. Oh yeah. The hoes gonna love this one. I call this Super Saiyan Rose. As he flew into the air, Vegeta was like, oh nah, you ain't finna run from these hands. He dashed in and Goku Black said, weave. He threw a right punch, but Vegeta said, get that weak shit on somewhere and blocked it. He started giving him another serving of a 30 piece combo. Vegeta cocked his arm all the way back for his next punch, all for Goku Black to be like, just kidding and stabbed him with an energy sword. But now it's time for the real Goku to test his luck. They was going hit for hit in the sky, but that's when Black hit Goku in the back of his head, sent him crashing to the ground. Black was about to be smoking on that Goku pack until Zamsu put up with a whole light show. I don't know who he think he is. My boy, you are not intimidating. Goku was like, oh, so you want to box too? Dash it towards Zamsu and they started going hit for hit until Zamsu hit that nigga with a karate chop to the chest and sent him all the way back down. But Black said, nigga, you think this shit on one-on-one -on -one and try to sneak Goku? But luckily he dodged. Then Zamsu came back down and was like, well... I guess we jumping. So they both dashed in and was trying to hit Goku with coordinated combos. But my dog Trunks put up and blocked Black Sword. So he started squabbling Black and sent him flying into the building. Black dashes Goku blocks the first hit. Weaves the but that's when Black put Goku in a damn spin cycle and sent him flying. Black comes through the smoke. Goku teleports behind him and was like, come on man. That's too easy. But Black said, psych nigga your trash and hit Goku with a point blank nuke to the stomach. Meanwhile, Trunks was putting a pause on Zamasu, so he charged up a final flash and hit Zamasu directly. But this is when it was revealed that Zamasu was invincible. But you can never take your eyes off Goku Black, because at any chance he get, he will sneak your ass. Goku and Trunks turn around and see this nigga charging a Kamehameha. They were trying to skedaddle one out of there. That's when Zamasu was like, oh nah, y'all niggas ain't going nowhere. Grabbed them both and Black hit him with a direct Kamehameha. So Black and Zamasu was about to hit him with a level 1, but luckily Vegeta pulled up and stopped him. During that time they were distracted, Yajirobe pulled up and took Goku and Trunks off the block. But they dead has left my nigga Vegeta there. <laughs> but luckily the soldiers surrounded them and shot tear gas so Mai could come get Vegeta out. When she met up with Yajirobe, they threw down the time machine because she pretty much said y'all niggas are trash, try again later. They spun the block and Goku Black instantly powered up into Rose. Vegeta dashes in and got kicked away like a child. And Trunks did the exact same thing. Goku dashes in. Black teleports are right before he punched Goku, you can see in his face, he was like Damn, he really about to rock my shit But Black was trying to be the leader all time assist cause he passed Goku to Zamasu for him to dunk it down But Vegeta couldn't let that side so he pulled back up but he immediately got kicked into a building That's when Trunks tried to sneak him but Black was like go say hi to your daddy nigga and kicked him over there too So Black and Zamasu put up on Goku and started telling him what happened to his family in this timeline And long story short, he murked him as well as his family. But come on bro, rule number one in Dragon Ball, to never mess with Goku's friends. And Goku powered up and was like, alright nigga, you done fucked around to find out. I ain't the one playing no more. Kakarot's the one with the sticks now. 
He dashed straight past Zamasu and was like, nah, nigga, you're the one who's gonna catch these hands. He punched Black straight into a building. Zamasu tried to sneak him, but Goku was on time and knocked him back down. He said, fuck your immortality and started spamming Key Blast. And hold up, is this nigga smiling? Oh, nah. This nigga a freak. Black came back around from round two. Goku blocked the punch, hit him with a left hook, then a right. Bro had a whole dent in his chest, but Goku was not done. Hit him with a quick two piece, knee to the stomach, then a spinning back kick. They flew into the air. Black shot a Key Blast, but Goku said, get that weak shit on somewhere, and they started boxing. Goku then kicked him straight in the jaw. You know it hurts when your neck gets cocked back like that. Hit him with a mean right, then kicked him right back down. He took the time to teleport to Zamasu. Was like, oh, I ain't freaked about your hoe ass. Really just hit that boy with a no-look punch. He teleported to Black and it looked like he was knocked out. He threw a punch, but Black said, psych nigga, you thought. Caught his punch and shot him point blank with a key blast. He made the energy sword and I knew Goku was about to get hit with his level one. He dashes in and stabs him with a bunch of energy spheres. He emoted and then posed for the gram. But we can't forget about Trunks. That boy is tired of being on the sidelines. He transformed into a... I don't even know what you would call this. I don't know if it's a Super Saiyan 2 or just Rage Trunks, but, but either way, Trunks wanted nothing but them hands. He walked over to his ops and was like, Get your black ass over here. He dashed towards Zamasu, but we know Black doesn't give anyone the faith of a one-on-one -on -one and knees him in the gut. Trunks said, Oh, word? And backhanded Black. I don't know who he feeling like because he grabbed his foot and started spinning him around. But Black said, Get your weird ass off me and kicked him in the mouthpiece. So they started boxing, but look at Zamasu. He was like, This nigga really think he finna run the ones teleported and trunks got hit with a double kick black and zamasu shot an atomic bomb at trunks but he redirected it yo he dashed in and snuck zamasu real quick so trunks ends up spearing black into the ground and was aiming to blick at him and that boy said stand over gang pussy and up the blick on his ass but what did i expect goku black is a different breed right now he walks through the smoke vanishes behind trunks and look at this dude he knows he's finna rock his shit Oh, what's wrong? I thought you told me to get my black ass over here. Whole time, Vegeta was holding off Zamasu so Trunks can run the ones. But Black teleports over and they both hit him with a two-piece. The moment Trunks looked away, they shot another atomic bomb at him. But this time, he got boomed. But it's Trunks we're talking about. He ain't gonna go down that easily. He started spamming key blasts and told Vegeta to take Goku and go back to the timeline and train because y'all niggas are trash. So that's exactly what they did. They spun the block once again. But this time, they instantly took out that time machine. So they squared up and Vegeta instantly went for Black. Hit him with a basic B&B &B combo. Black tried to shoot energy blades at him, but Vegeta caught his arm and hit him with a right hook. Had that boy taking a peek at his own ass. Black threw a left, but Vegeta caught that shit. Hit him with a knee and kicked him through three buildings. And you see Vegeta got chased down artists on Hall of Fame because he ran him down now once but twice and the second time he was pushing this nigga through the building zamasu felt a disturbance in the force and went to go jump vegeta but goku said oh hell no nah. kicked him into the building then punched him in the back of his head destroying the concrete so vegeta and black are still going hit for hit black tried to hit vegeta with an energy sword but it was easily blocked this is when vegeta had enough of his bullshit you want to know what your big mistake was black what the fuck it's thinking you can fuck with me Hit him with a left to the stomach, a left uppercut, and then he grabbed a nigga's face and was dragging him down to the lobby. Vegeta threw him down so hard that this nigga bounced on the concrete. How the fuck do you bounce on concrete? Then Vegeta came back down and was hitting Black with vicious combos. He put his arm back and hit Black straight in the stomach for the final hit. This nigga just got TOD'd. Vegeta picks Black up by his hair and was like, You must have amnesia because you forgot that I'm him, bitch. But he was not finished. Vegeta started running his fade once again. Even after getting his fade ran, Black is sitting there laughing. He looks up and sees Vegeta telling ass to shut his bitch ass up. So Black flies back up and was like, Oh, I get it now. You're this strong because you're mad. Let me give it a try. He stabs that energy sword through his hand and turns into a scythe. All of a sudden, Goku and Vegeta were surrounded by black shadows clones. And there was nothing they could do. Anytime you took one down, they just formed again. While that was going on, Zamasu was pulling up on Trunks and Boma. Trunks powered up and used evil containment wave to seal Zamasu away. But the crazy part is, they forgot to seal to keep him down for good. But after that's done, they couldn't let that slide. So they ended up fusing. Zamasu then created a Susano behind him and struck down Vegeta on Goku with lightning. But it's these two we're talking about. They ain't finna go like no hoe. So they dash towards Zamasu and that nigga stopped both their punches. He proceeds to throw them down and shot blaze of judgment at him. Someone come give these niggas a revive. They got one pump. Long story short, they could not hang with Zamasu. They even did a father-son Gallic gun, but they ain't do a single thing. Toriyama refuses to give Vegeta any sort of win. But when it's Goku's turn, on oh my mama, I'm about to whoop your ass. You ain't going to do shit, dude. <laughs> but when Goku does it, it cooks half of his body.
He dashes in and was hitting Zamasu with mean combos. Whole time, Goku can't even use his arms. Zamasu then grabs his leg, but Goku said, get your ugly ass off me, went Kaioken and kicked the shit out of him. And Zamasu comes back down with a professional meat beater arm. With that level of power, there's no way for them to beat him now. But there's still one person who can. Vegito! Zamsu shoots another energy attack, Vegito blew it up and was like, nigga, you're sorry. Worthless humans. You'll never understand the true power of us gods. No bitch ass up. Stop all that yapping. I'm trying to box. Now let's hurry this up. I'm on a tight schedule. Zamasu was talking all that shit just for Vegito to put the works on him. The quadruple kicks into the grab neck combo was filthy. Not gonna lie, Zamasu did hit him with a meat short you can and put him down for a second. But Vegito got up and stabbed him with an energy sword. Nigga, quit stealing my swag. Hold on. Is this hurting you? Aren't you invincible? Vegito was like enough of this funny business and fired a final Kamehameha at him. Behold, I am him. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Shut your lame ass up! Oh shit! Punched them niggas so hard they bounced back up into his combo. But that's when Trunks spun the block and was like, this is my arc hoe ass nigga. He created the sort of hope and stabbed him straight through the gut. Zamsu pulled it out, but Trunks spun back around and cut a nigga from the bottom up. But even after getting his fade ran, Zamsu couldn't let that slide. Since he was immortal, he was going to corrupt the entire timeline. It got to the point where Grand Sentinel himself was like, don't worry, I'ma handle it. And he erased the whole timeline. <laughs> 